I'm going to be uh, trying to figure out where the, the brush line is today. Charlie Jagow is an American TV personality born in 1998 in Fairbanks, Alaska, USA. He's known for appearing in Discovery Channel's reality series, The Last Alaskans. Charlie is the second child of Don and Paul Jagow. He and his older sister Joanna grew up in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, ANWR, where his family had been settled for years. He attended Lathrop High School, though there's no further information about his education. Although Charlie's parents are both from New York, but their first meeting was in Alaska, where Paul had been living for almost a decade. After their marriage in the early 1990s, they moved into his cabin near Porcupine River, an insulated and isolated area in which only seven families lived at the time. Even though Charlie's entire family lived up in the mountains, his sister Joanna lived for three years in Fairbanks City, where she attended high school. After her matriculation, she attended the University of Alaska in Fairbanks, graduating in 2016 with a nursing degree. She currently works at Fairbanks Memorial Hospital, though she doesn't forget her beginnings, is still passionate about nature, and is an avid husky dog racer. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. It's not a surprise that despite Charlie Jagow's young age, he's an expert on surviving in Alaska. He spent his entire childhood living in the wilderness and learned how to be a self-reliant person saying, living out here has its risks, but I think the risks are worth it. Through hunting and fishing, Charlie has been able to sustain himself during the intense winters of the Arctic, and his strong sense of independence led him to build his own cabin when he was 18 years old. However, despite his many survival skills, he's not strange to technology and uses a snow machine for transportation, leaving behind the sled dogs used by his family. He prefers to fly his plane for longer distances, though it's unknown when he became a qualified pilot. Charlie is the last and youngest permit holder of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, which means that he's able to inhabit the natural sanctuary, theoretically until permits expire less than 100 years into the future, when no humans will be allowed to live in it. These permits were originally given by the U.S. government in 1989 as a way to preserve the natural sanctuary and prevent large communities of people living in the mountains. Approval to live in the refuge was also granted to children of original permit holders, such as Charlie's father, Paul. Despite being an experienced adventurer, Charlie remains humble and is thankful for the experience gained from his elders. Obviously, this isn't an easy lifestyle, he says. The old timers who trapped and lived the lifestyle 30, 40, even 50 years, they just had to endure it. So much struggle and effort in the past. Charlie was first introduced in The Last Alaskans during the TV show's second season, originally broadcast on Animal Planet and then moved to the Discovery Channel. It centers on Charlie and the other residents of ANWR. Although the show's main focus is educational, it also showcases Alaskan landscapes and tells the story of each of its cast members in a memorable, cinematic way. The production of the series has been keen on communicating the conservation message while also relaying the values of each family's part in the show. Traditions are also important for viewers of the show, and Charlie is aware of it. That's why he has been seen honoring the pioneers of wildlife adventurers who set the path he's walking nowadays, saying, Sometimes out here, you can feel like you're the only one who's ever experienced going up this drainage, or up this creek, or trapping up this one valley. But the men that use this cabin are my predecessors, my dad's predecessors. It's a lot different day and age now, but in a lot of ways, out here, time is a lot slower. It's a special thing to see that connection. Charlie also admires Bob Hart, one of the region's pioneers and former fellow cast members of the series who died in 2017 after battling cancer for years. There's a lot of guys that don't last in this game, but Bob Hart did. I always heard all these crazy stories about boat accidents or falling through the ice with a snow machine, but Hart didn't ever seem to be down about having really, really bad hard luck. Although The Last Alaskans is a reality series, it had differentiated itself from other shows of the same reality category, as it doesn't focus on drama and scripted scenes, and instead showcases each cast member in depth with authenticity, allowing viewers to witness their journey and legacy. Hank Stuver of the Washington Post described the series as TV's purest and most respectful example of what reality television might have been 
if the genre had a soul. He also praised the show's structure and its ability to catch viewers' attention in an unexpected way. Each season has followed a set story arc, and it's somehow surprising to see the episodes are as fresh and uninterrupted as when the show's camera first came along. So Charlie is still alive and in good health. His experience and wide knowledge of outdoors allowed him to fund Double Shovel Outfitter, a small agency dedicated to guide hunters and visitors through Alaska's wilderness. There's no information about Charlie Jagow's personal life and possible romantic partners. He maintains his private life out of the spotlight and is not very active on social media. As a result of his appearance in The Last Alaskans and earnings from his work as a guide, Charlie Jagow has an estimated net worth of close to $200,000 as of late 2020. Charlie is a slender young man of white ethnicity. He weighs approximately 140 pounds or 63 kilograms and is 5 feet 7 inches or 1.7 meters tall. His hair is blonde and his eyes green. Charlie's sister Joanna is an expert on sled dogs, which is her preferred transportation method while in Alaskan mountains. Joanna has her own dog racing team, which she formed while still in high school. Thanks to her dogs, she has won various races such as Two Rivers 100. She also completed a 200-mile race from Dawson City for the Percy DeWolf. Her crew is known as Motley Crew Kennel, and it accepts donations and sponsors on its web. Charlie appears on the web as one of the crew members. In an episode of The Last Alaskans, Charlie used an axe to test the ice layer of a river. Although the tactic was not safe, he managed to cross the river safely. Anytime you're crossing a river for the first time on ice that you can't visually see is quite solid, you need to, you know, take the proper precautions. You gotta have a long pole in case you fall through to help you above the ice line so you don't get washed underneath. Fans of The Last Alaskans consider Charlie their TV boyfriend for his impressive survival abilities. Following comments left on the show's social media accounts, I want to marry Charlie from The Last Alaskans, a dude who could survive in the cold, hard wilderness alone. Jesus, what's more attractive? Nothing. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.